Hello, so I'm making this uh, video to demonstrate a problem with logic that makes it basically unusable as uh, a piece of mixing software and one that um, logic don't seem to be doing anything about because it's been hanging about for a while and it basically is an issue with the, the timing on the side chain. <coughs> often use a side chain to trigger a, another process as an opposite on another channel um, so you can like in this case I'm using a snare to trigger something called multiplicity which is here and and that's the base I bypass that because it just doesn't work for the reason I'm about to play and that's on the pads and what the idea was that I could use the um, the snare to duck a bunch of frequencies in the middle and expand the same frequencies in the side it seems like a, an idea which I don't know how it sounds yet because I've never got it to work because of the issue I'm about to show you so uh, this has got an input from the snare which is just just a snare it's not a bus it's even worse if you use a bus by the way and so what happens is if I press this press play now what you'll see and here is that the snare and the effect are completely out of time So basically, um, I just can't do the effect I'm after doing because, and this is something that should just work. You should be able to use a side chain to trigger an effect and it should work in time with a signal. Otherwise, what's the point of having a side chain? There isn't, I'll answer that question for you. So I just wanna try one thing just before I go any further. Let's just go to, let's see, because I've, I've grouped a bunch of snares to one bus. Let's have a listen to that. Now, let's see what happens now. I suspect it'll be even worse. You can hear those frequency boosts coming completely out of time with the snare, but that should be coming with the snare. Whether it would sound good with the snare or not, I don't know, because I've never heard it. But the point is I can't actually do anything like that. And another thing I try and do often in the bass, very very normal thing to do, use the kick just to duck the sub frequencies of the bass. So you keep a nice uh, consistent harmonics in the bass and just get you getting the, the, the sub pulsing working correctly. Again, not an option. So you know what will happen is the kick will go in and then the sub will get ducked after the kick, which makes no sense. So you can't do it. So basically this is crippling and I'm gonna move to Cubase as a result. Um, and I, I basically think everyone should do the same and should ask for their money back because this is this is unworkable and it's it's crap. And just so we know for sure, if you go to preferences audio, just so you know, I've got uh, plug-in gain compensation. Where is it? I think it's on general uh, da, 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 compensation. Oh yeah, so plug-in latency, all that's on. Um, it's not that. It's basically a problem. So uh, please do something about it, Logic. Uh, or you know, I, I I hope you do a lot of customers and people should just say that this software is essentially a joke now because you know you can't do the most fundamental essential mixing process